Hello there everyone. Before we get started with this Let's Play, I just wanted to let you know really quickly that unfortunately, due to a software glitch, my phone, um, I lost the face cam footage for this episode. I used my phone to record face cam footage, and for some reason, after recording this episode, when I hit the stop button, I got an error message that said something about a server error and having to restart the app or something like that. It was very weird. But anyways, so this episode will be like one of my replays with just the voice and the game, and I apologize for that, and it really pisses me off because there were some great jump scare reactions, and my reaction to the ending of this game was something like this. So, <laughs> you know, um, I'm, I'm sorry that you won't get to see that, but you can at least hear me freak out. So hopefully that's good enough. These things, they just happen sometimes. You know, and I feel bad, but there's nothing I can do about it. Anyways, sit back, relax, and enjoy the grand finale of Narcosis. Hello there, everyone. My name is Oversoul. This is Oversoul Gaming, and welcome back to Narcosis. Now, when I stopped the last episode, I decided to uh, kind of walk around the area and see if I couldn't figure out what needed to be done, and I found something. I found this right here and I played around with it a bit I've already done all this but I reloaded my save just in case but this was a puzzle right here and we needed to get it to a certain number so uh, just to save time and everything and uh, I figured out what the puzzle was so we have to turn on one of the small ones I want those flares if I could thank you all right we turn on one of the small ones and three of the big ones so, one, two, three. Hey, engineer, you're a problem solver. You value logic and precision. You talk a lot about times, distances, values, and yet there were some challenges you couldn't solve. Numbers are easy. It's people that are complex. Numbers bring things into focus. This is the puzzle no answer. gray areas to distract you from getting things into perspective. Anyways, we'll have to deal with this anglerfish again, perhaps. But... Anyways, maybe we can just avoid him. So anyways, this... We have to go up here like you saw last time. I had the right idea, I just went about it the wrong way. And I missed the generator room, you know? So, we're up here. And we gotta go to where he was. I'm gonna try to get an achievement while I'm here if I can. There's an achievement for avoiding the octopus ink. When, uh, but we need one of them to be close to us. And when I'm standing here, this is the best spot to try and get it. Because they'll see you, they'll go to shoot ink at you. And then you just thrust backwards to avoid it. Hopefully. Damn, they just, they really don't care about me, do they? Alright guys, I've been trying to get that achievement for like the past five minutes and it's just not happening, so I'll try again on a second off-camera playthrough. I wasted a whole bunch of time doing that just now. Anyways, I had the right idea here. You reroute the methane flow to the middle, and now we have to carefully jump across all of these. Ah. Uh-oh. Carefully, we gotta jump across all of these. The green ones. You gotta have really good timing here. I did all of this off camera so that I would know how to do it when we came back and did this so that I could hurry up and get through it and move on to the next area. Then I just wasted like six, seven minutes on that stupid octopus achievement. Luckily for you though, I cut all that out, so. Yeah, ah, uh -huh. Oof. Good landing. It's really hard when you can't actually see the platform that you're landing on. You just kind of have to memorize where it was. Okay, one more. Ha! Ah! Uh, okay, and then up here. Up here. There we go. All right. There's an oxygen tank over here. Not that we really need it, but I'm going to take it anyways. And then this is where we get the key card that we need to move on. All right. 
now that that's out of the way, we can gleefully drop back down. Whee! Does it get easier? And now all we the can use questions? the elevator. Now people ask all kinds of questions. What they ask says a lot about their character. Especially when it comes to casualties. I don't know about you guys, but I, I, I saw a cuttlefish just disappear through the wall. I don't know how that worked, but okay. Alright. Now! Now this is where I left so off. What's the response when they do ask about the gory details? I oblige. See which way they want to take it. I mean... What people don't get is that they don't want me to keep going. Not really. There's only so much blood and guts people can take before they lose their appetite. Ooh, that sounds ominous. Everyone has their limits. That sounds ominous. Where's this story about to go? Uh-oh. Things have gotten a little bit creepy, have they not? Why is there ice? Oh! Oh good, this again. Round and round and round we go. Where we stop, nobody knows. La da 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 dee 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 do. Where are we ending? Oh. Hey, you look different. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's bad. Oh, it's coming for me. Ah! Oh, that thing is actually chasing me. It is actually coming after me. Okay, I'm gonna go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. And we safely land in the new area. Okay. Now this time I'm going to try to be smart and actually wait until I have reached a point where the game saves before I decide to move forward. Hello. Hi. How are you? Or, what did I say? I'm gonna wait for the game to save. Wait until I reach a point where the game saves before I attempt to move, or before I You're attempt to stop this time, I mean. when describing some circumstances. Times when you felt crippled with fear, coming across the bodies of friends and colleagues. Yeah. It's clear you care, but there's an undercurrent of detachment in the way you present some of the more difficult moments. Was that your intention? No, I, I've heard that before. I just did my best to paint a clear picture. When it comes to empathy, there's no manual for that. I'm gonna take that. Okay. I saw an elevator over here, so let's see what that's all about. Whoosh! I need oxygen. Oh, bo, 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 bo. Hurry up. Thrust has to recharge before you can use it again. Up, oh, please. Thank you. Hmm. Well, that door's locked. But here's an oxygen refill thing, so that's useful. Come on, come on, come on, come on, thank you. Oh, is that all this was up here for? Okay. Back down, then. So where do I go? I only saw this one door. That's just back outside. Maybe I missed something in here. There's nothing over here. Oh, that door's blue. I, I could have just did that. Okay. I didn't realize I could keep going. <laughs> oh, good. A flare refuel thing. I wasted so many flares trying to get those octopi's attention so I could get the achievement for dodging the ink. And I got them to ink at me twice, but I failed. 
I either did it too early or not early enough a couple of times, but eventually they just stopped coming, so I had to move on. Okay, this is weird. Warped hallways and horror games are nothing new. Yep. Oh! Okay. Dead end. Hey! Our monitor stuff is, all, is glitching out. What's up with that? What's up with that? What's up with that? I have to ask again. Was it luck? Conditioning. Conditioning and discipline. How I got down there in the first place. And that's how I got out. That you're trying. It's about keeping tethered to the task. Okay, this is just repeating you the same thing over and over. About the reality around you. Wait a minute, I wonder. You can't. Oh crap! It's closing. Oh hey, that opened it up. I must have did something right this time. Okay, I'm gonna use this. I can't even see my oxygen level anymore, so... Oh wait, yeah, you can, barely. 75, now it's max. Oop, wrong button. Huh? Oh, oh, it changed, okay. Yeah, move forward! Oh, 3%, oh, two! What? Why did my oxygen down, go down so fast? I was just at max! What the hell? Okay, I should really hurry, I guess. Oh, things are getting fuzzy. Oh, look! Oxygen! Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Hey, hey, that's not nice! Can't do that. Oh, crap. What do I do? 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 I don't know what to do. What am I doing? Hello? You! Oh, boy. Ah. What? No, it won't let me use that. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm dying of... of oxygen... loss... -ness. Huh? What? Who? Was that supposed to happen? It must have been. Because this is a new area, okay? What have we here? Enter passcode. Passcode denied. Please enter in five-digit PIN security code. So I guess I'm gonna have to look around for something like that, huh? Okay. Whoa, this room is all weird and warpy. Any number is important. Fine. Fine other number. Oh! 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 Okay. Okay, I get it. Okay, that's really messed up. What the hell? Why is there a giant body in here? Either way, five, huh? What in the actual hell? This dude's hallucinations are way out of control. Hello? Somebody spilled something here. What is that? Coffee? Oh. Oh! It's another number. Okay. Whee! Peekaboo. Hello. Oh, there's one. Literally. Number one. Okay. Oh, that was... It said it was a five-digit code. That means I only got one more to find. Alright, where is it then? What? Am I under this dead woman's ass? <laughs> Why? Ugh. Hmm. There be another number around here somewhere. Interact. Oh! Okay. So the number was on the computers. Interesting. I didn't know I could interact with them. Well, not until now, anyways. Oh, hey, my thing's back to normal. I'm gonna refill oxygen. And then put this code in real quick so that we may move on. Thank you. 36105. 
Sounds good. And open door. Alright, now are we back in the normal world or is there gonna be more spook? Okay, this looks familiar. This looks kinda like the, the place before recent hazard level. Last time I did this, I turned around, there was a diving suit person. Not this time, apparently. Okay, moving on. You saw terrible things. And oh, even I'm if you made this. it to the surface, you couldn't count on being rescued. I mean, I'd have lost my mind. Did you ever feel like you were losing it just a little? Ah, uh, that's who that was. No. Okay. When they found me, I'd been floating on the surface for at least five hours. This whole room was folded in I on itself. I talked with therapists and trauma experts for months. Said I was hiding the hurt. But it's not true. I made mistakes down there, yes, but did I lose my mind? No. No way. Hmm. All right, which way do I go? This looks like a bathroom. Oh. Well, clearly not in here. <laughs> I don't even think this bathroom is usable anymore. It's been overgrown. All right, well. Woo! Do you open? You do not. Whee! Whoosh! Okay. I wish the thrust recharged faster. Especially when you're trying to run from stuff. Ba ba da deep da ba doo ba dee doo. Progress saved, and now we must be moving on. But I'm not ready to end yet. No, sir. I will refill this oxygen, though. That's always a good idea, yeah? Very nice. Thank you. Shkaboofin! Ya da da. Alright. They're taking us back here, so... Oh! Oh, it's another ice guy! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hey, hey, buddy, how you... Oh, 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 okay, what am I doing here? Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, there's more than one of them! <laughs> run, 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 run. Faster, move faster! God, why is my thrust so suck? Uh, ah! Ah! Yeah. How many of them are there? Ugh. Huh? Oh no 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 no! Uh. 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 Oh god! One in front of me. One to the right. Uh oh! Now they're oh shit! They're coming from all four directions. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Oh, that one's green. That one's green. This entire experience is defined by the fact that you came back alone. Your story started with 20 people, but ends with one. So when it comes to telling those stories, you're the only one who can. Yeah. Hey. There's a responsibility to get things right. For the record. I see you on that camera. Oh man, it's just showing him all the dead people on the camera now. It's pretty horrifying. So, since the green diving suit guy has been helping us this whole time, I just kind of assumed that he was there to help us amid all those other ones with the red lights, because red is good and or red is bad and green is good generally. You know, it was just instinctual. I didn't know what else to do. I'm glad it was right though. Alright, so it looks like they're done. Hey, 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 hey! I didn't, I don't remember inviting you to the party. How about you skedaddle, punk? Oh, he's gonna swim around in circles here. Oh, my thing is cracking up. Maybe I shouldn't touch the ice. Eh, probably a good idea. Oh, can I go up there now? I think I can go up here now. Oh, the thing is gonna, it's gonna attack. Oh, excuse you. Okay, that ink, oh shit. That ink is not doing what you want it to do, buddy. You just leave me alone. 
Excuse me, sorry, I was in the way. I, my bad, I didn't mean to. Okay. Now let's go. This didn't lead anywhere before, but yeah, now it will. Okay, I'm not about to step one foot in that room until I've refilled my oxygen, thank you. you must be out your damn mind. <laughs> go. That's right. Okay, so this one is our friend. He does help us. He's supposed to protect us from the other ones. Although, I, what exactly is he protecting us from? They're hallucinations. They shouldn't be able to really actually hurt us. But because this is a video game and there are game mechanics to be had, the hallucinations can in fact hurt us at certain points. As we have seen. I have a feeling if I let any of those red light guys catch up to me, it probably would have meant death. Thank you, by the way, for helping. It's very nice. Unlimited thrust enabled? Oh, hell yeah! Oh, I see why. I, th I see why. Oh, it's because I'm on ice. I have to. I can't touch the ground. I get it. I can't touch the ground. Because it's all ice. Am I supposed to avoid those red lights as well, or is that just to help me see? Or is that just to add to the aesthetic and the atmosphere? Unlimited thrust is awesome. I'm basically flying. Well, technically I'm swimming, but you know what I mean. Shut up. Okay, that is a big body. Oh, I get it. All of the red lights are them. All of the red lights are, in fact, them, the diving suit guys that have been frozen. Oh, I get it now! Because they were working with methane. This is frozen methane. That's how these people died. That's how some of them died. They were frozen in the methane. Oh, that's why we can't touch it, because it's not ice. It's frozen methane. Oh, okay. Looks like we're almost out of here, though. Just a little bit further. And boom. Oh! Okay, that's not good. Uh, okay, get, get off me, get off me, get off me! Get off me! Get off me! I can't! Oh, I can't move! Was that supposed to happen? It sounds like I died. Oh, come on! Seriously? Oh, that's horse shit and you know it. Alright, well I guess I'll see you guys when I get back to the hands, and then I need to figure out how to get past them. That thrust gliding part is like a very slow game of Flappy Bird. Okay, so I was doing it right. I just needed to move through them faster. I got stuck. I got stuck and I couldn't move is what happened. Oh, this is a methane thing. I gotta wait for it to stop. This looks like where I started. Welcome back, my friend. Dude, that's the. This is where I. This is where the game began. Uh, okay, what in the actual hell is going on here? Okay, it's dark. I don't know what to do here. It's dark. Oh, there's light. Rest in peace, Russ. Who's Russ? Hey. You alright? Come on, let's get back to the hab. To the hab? To the, huh? Uh, what? What the hell? What am I doing back here now? What is going on? Welcome back to Open Air. I'm Emily Kaler. If you're just joining us, my guest is Kip Mattis, sole survivor of the Oceanova disaster. His first book, Hell or High Water, is a harrowing account of his ordeal. Earlier, we talked about the life aquatic, escaping the flooded habitat, and being lost on the seafloor inside Kip, a I half know this ton titanium diving easy. suit. But I'd like to talk about the end. 
the end. Can you read that for us? Are we almost at the yeah. end, then? The list is getting shorter. Oh, this is different now. The hatch opens with its usual reluctance, flooding the room with light. The pod is there. I'm going home. Tomorrow, I'll be the sole survivor. But for now, I'm not alone. How did you feel when you figured it out? At that point, and that close, I was running on fear. I'm a little confused as to what's going on here now. So when I saw another suit in the room, it's almost too much to process. Oh, someone else was alive I down here. I couldn't believe that it was... That it was what? What? What's going on here? Virgil? Is that you? Yeah! Virgil made it. Just like me. How did you get? I thought everyone was... Only I'm locked inside the pod and he's locked out. Oh my Can you hear me? God! I can't stop the launch. There's no override. So we weren't playing as the guy telling the he's story. Not coming back. Oh god. I'm sorry. And that's on me. So are you saying that if you did something differently, that Virgil would have lived? That's right. Until I saw him. Fear in his eyes. I thought I was the only one. It was a bad call. This can't be happening. No way! No, 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 no! No goddamn way! So the whole time, so the whole time, the guy that was narrating the story is not the one that we were playing as. Oh my god. Well, now what do I do? Just drop down. You didn't kill him. Really? Who did? Bad luck? I'm responsible. Look, I'm up here talking with you. And he's still out there. That's insane. So, so the guy who was telling the story must be the one who we were following across the bridge in the first in the beginning when the earthquake hit. And then he was telling the story of his survival and we thought that he was narrating what we were playing, but it turns out that he was just another survivor, not the one we were playing at. I'm not controlling this, by the way. I can control the head, but I'm not controlling the walking. That's, oh my god, that literally, that just, that blew the hell out of my mind. Oh my god. What a plot twist. What light? This? This guy ain't no light. Oh, these must, oh, these are the ending credits, okay. So, I wonder if that means that he killed himself then, since he knew he was going to be down here and suffered, and now he's a ghost walking around like this other diving suit guy. Interesting. So, the ghosts... Well, so what if those things weren't hallucinations after all? What if they were actually ghosts of their dead co-workers, and they were... Helping, both helping and hindering this guy as he was trying to get to the one that was telling the story. Oh my god, I can't get over that. I still can't get over the fact that the guy who was telling the story is not the one that we were playing as. I did not see that coming. Oh, that's crazy. We were playing as his friend, and he's the one that actually made it and got out, and we didn't. It's, that's insane, because here we are, we were thinking the whole time, oh, everything will be fine, we're going to make it, and then boom, plot twist, it's not even who we think we are. Oh, that's insane. Well, anyways, I really, 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 really enjoyed this, and I hope you guys did too. 
But that's gonna be it for this Let's Play. We knocked, uh, knocked another one off the list. So, as per usual, let me know what you thought of the whole thing altogether and this crazy plot twist in the comments down below. And as always, thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you possibly on another day, definitely at another time, and likely in another video. Okay, goodbye. Kip, it's been more than a year since all this happened. You wrote a book and told your story. Are you ready to be done? Yeah, yeah. It's time to move on. Get myself working again. Kip Mattis, thank you so much for spending time with me today. Thanks for having me, Emily.